Hi everyone, this is Katie from Clark's Condense and the blog help. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to write a post in WordPress as well as um, some basics on SEO using the SEO by Yoast tool. So when you log into your WordPress dashboard, you'll see you know a bunch of different options and over on the left hand side you'll see posts. So just hover, hover over that and click on add new. And when you get in here, um, the first thing you'll do is you'll type in the title up here. So let's say we're talking about, let's say you're doing a post on chocolate cake. You can write chocolate cake recipe up here. And then you can go down here and this is the post composer. Um, and there's a visual tab, which I recommend typing in if you're not super familiar with um, HTML. But some people prefer the text mode, but um, I don't recommend doing that unless you are more more or less tech savvy. So we'll just stay in the visual um, section for now. So you can type, I mean, just type how, type how you would uh, normally type something. So this is the best chocolate cake recipe ever. So you just type, um, there's some different options. You can bold up here, bold, italicize, strike out. Um, and you can play play around with that. If you want to put a link in, press the insert edit link, and you can type in the URL up there. And I always recommend clicking open link in new tab, um, just because it makes it so people don't navigate away from your page. And I have a plugin that allows me to add no follow, which makes it so search engines don't um, don't pick up the link and follow it, which is essential if it's a sponsored link. But um, you may or may not have that if you don't have the plug and install. So anyways, just press add link and it'll hyperlink whatever's there. Um, you can also do spell check, uh, spell check um, undo, redo, um, um, and most of the time when you log in for the first time to WordPress, it'll not have all those options. It'll just have this first line. Um, so just press toolbar, to, toolbar toggle and it'll give you a few more options. Um, you can change the text color. Um, and whatnot there. And there's these sections up here, paragraph, heading, one, two, three. Um, you should never use heading one in your posts. These are for SEO, but you can use heading three. It's not supposed to be for stylistic purposes, but you can use it to kind of separate things and um, for SEO reasons, if you want something to kind of stand, a keyword to stand out. Um, after you write your post, you can come over here and select a category. I don't recommend having a lot of different categories um, just because um, it's best just to have a couple of just your site's main ones. So say you're doing a recipe blog, you can have desserts, main dishes, side dishes, etc. Um, and you can also have subcategories. Um, but tags is where you can put a lot more different words. So you could put recipe, chocolate, cake, flour. Um, some people, they'll put um, just all the different ingredients they use in recipes, I'm assuming I mean, if you're a recipe blogger and there are plugins where you can make it so people can search for um, recipes by by the ingredient and whatnot um, then you'll want to, after you upload a picture which I can show you how to do now you click add media um, and you just do upload file select files and pick whatever is in your um, in your file manager on your computer and it will upload it to the media library and you can click on it and click insert into post. Um, and then you can click on the pencil right here if you want to make it smaller or larger. Um, I recommend sizing your picture before you upload it just because it helps with site speed. Um, in general, a good width is 650, um, but it'll just depend on your specific site and your um, the content width area. Um, so after you do that, you can come down here. Um, some posts, you want to set a featured image for your site because um, some themes won't pull it so it won't show up on the home page. Um, but it's also good for things like um, for Facebook, it'll pull it or for a newsletter. So just pick whatever image your featured image that you want to be the picture that you know shows on truncated posts and whatnot. You can just press a set featured image. Um, so once you've done this, um, I recommend going back through all your pictures, clicking the edit button and putting in a description. So, um, so 
Let's go back to the chocolate cake. This is the best chocolate cake recipe. So once you do that, put it in the alternative text section. Um, when someone goes to pin it, it'll bring that text up automatically. So it, instead of something like image 350 or something like that, it won't show up. Um, it'll show up with a description, which is better for SEO. Search engines will pull it up more easily. So always do that. Always go back through your alternative text um, for each image and type in um, something. And you can kind of, you can vary it just so you could do the best chocolate cake recipe, the easiest chocolate cake recipe, whatnot, because it'll help better or it'll help more uh, with SEO. Um, and then next, um, this is just Yoast SEO. It's a popular plugin for, um, for WordPress. Um, it just is... I mean, there's a lot of uh, things you can go into with SEO, but um, just to start, um, this is a great place to start. So you'll go down here, and it'll have the snippet editor where you can change what shows up in the search engine results. So right here, you can make it so it's whatever you know, whatever you want your title to be. So the best chocolate cake recipe, because I don't really want my site name to show up in there. And then down here, you can change the description. So my family raves about this. I don't know what just happened, but you can just change down here um, whatever you want to show up in the snippet on um, in SEO or on search engines like Google and Yahoo. Then that you can come down here to focus keyword. And this is where you put in the main topic of your post. So this is the one that you're going to have. Um, so for this, it would be, I mean, you could do chocolate cake. But I recommend doing a long tail keyword, which is basically, you know, the, the best chocolate cake recipe in the world or something like that. Because, I mean, if you type in chocolate cake recipe, there's going to be thousands and thousands of um, search results for that. And most of them are going to be for, you know, large websites like Food Network or whatnot. So you get lost in there. But if you do a long tail keyword, which is just basically a longer phrase you have a better chance of um, ranking for that and and whatnot. And I use Google uh, Keywords for that, but um, the simplest thing you can do is you can just go to google.com and you can just start typing in chocolate cake. Oh, sorry. You just type in, you know, the main topic of your thing. So chocolate cake cake recipe. So once you start um, typing in, it'll show you what people are searching for. And this is usually related to your area, but in general for things like this, it'll be um, similar. So like I live in Colorado, so that's why it's chocolate cake recipe high altitude. So these are keywords that you can use um, and put as your focus keyword here. And I recommend having uh, one main keyword that you use like one to two times throughout the post and then a couple of backup keywords. So um, so I'll just put chocolate cake here for the sake of simplicity. But um, so once you go press save draft, it'll give you um, it'll give you a little symbol up here. It'll tell you if it's green, yellow, or red. And if it's red, that means that your SEO is not that great. Yellow, it's okay, but you could do worse. And green means that you're doing great. So um, there's some other features here in SEO or in Yoast SEO. But that's the simplest things that will, and I'll just keep it at that for today. Um, if you do share on Facebook quite a bit, um, you can come in here and change some of the information, what shows up in the little snippet um, when you share it. So I recommend this if you're in, you know, sharing groups or you share it on a Facebook page. You can pick the specific image that shows up, which is helpful um, because um, images need to be specific sizes to do well on Facebook. So you can create one that's this recommended size 1280 or 1200 by 628. So once you are done doing that, um, you can come up here and you can either save as a draft if you're not ready. You can preview the post and see what it looks like. Um, or you can publish it. And then you can also schedule it by pressing here and changing the date and pressing OK. So... I think that's a basic overview of how to post a post in WordPress. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments or at thebloghelp.com. Thanks.